So here's a little insight into the world of rubber plantations. This is one such plantation in Kanyarapalli, Kerala, which is on the southwest coast of India. These trees you see are rubber trees. In this video I will briefly talk about how rubber is harvested in these plantations. Rubber, natural rubber is a naturally occurring elastomer and it has a wide range of uses in the modern world. It's uh, used nearly everywhere from tiles to toys to industrial and consumer uses. So this is a rubber tree as are the other, most of the other trees around. Now natural rubber is obtained from the sap of the rubber tree which is not indigenous to India but was uh, brought. And as you see this is the stem or the trunk of the rubber tree. And here you will get a close look at how rubber latex, which is a preform for rubber, is uh, obtained. So little strips are cut into the bark of the tree, and the rubber sap flows down the bark and is collected in a container. What you see here is rubber latex also popularly called rubber milk locally. This is, it's a liquid, but it kind of thickens as you see, so it coagulates. It smells pretty strong, but uh, this is the basic uh, precursor to natural rubber. Now all natural rubber is uh, obtained from the rubber tree. And a large percent of natural rubber is uh, obtained from Indonesia and Southwest India. So as you can see, there's a stream of rubber dripping down from the tree. Every morning, workers uh, cut new strips to start the bleeding process. And every evening, the rubber milk or the latex is collected. The latex is uh, then stored in barrels, such as this, and uh, are sold at a later time. Rubber trees typically take seven years to mature from the time that they are planted, and once they are mature, rubber trees can be harvested for another 25 years. Rubber trees also require a certain distance between trees, so on this plantation you see a few other crops which are grown between the rubber trees, such as cocoa, this tree which you're seeing right now. Since it is uh, not the season for the cocoa pods to be harvested, you probably won't see a lot of them, but a few dried out ones. These are some dried out cocoa pods. This is not typically how they look when they are ripe. These are ones that have uh, not been harvested due to the fact that they have uh, been damaged by pests. Cocoa is uh, one of the plants. You also see some uh, hardwood trees, such as this one. And this is a look into a rubber plantation in Kerala, in uh, Kangarapalli. This uh, town is known for its several rubber plantations. 
and uh, households that rely on rubber for their income and sustenance. Rubber, however, is losing a lot of its appeal lately due to the fact that rubber prices have uh, been falling in the market and skilled labor, such as the labor required to tap or cut these trees without damaging them, is becoming increasingly rare. Shortage of labor and fall in market prices for rubber and natural latex have uh, caused a lot of farmers to reduce their interest in rubber. And this has made rubber planting slightly more challenging today. Here's some other cocoa tree. Again, a few pods are visible, but those are pods which have dried out. Rubber plantations are also great hunting grounds. They uh, have a lot of good game, like squirrels and birds. It's a great place to just take a stroll and to just walk down. And that's a look at a rubber plantation in India.